Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial we will learn how to modify QSegments in the Timeline Editor. We will work in this tutorial with the results of the tutorial Modify an audio file in the Timeline Editor. As task we have to trim the timeline to 40 seconds playback duration. We want to add a crossfade between Q segment 1 and 2 of 1 second. Furthermore, we will add a white fade between Q segment 2 and 3 of 1 second 50 frames. And we want to create a fade in of the layer opacity of layer 1 and 2 for Q segment 2 with a fade time of 1 second 20 frames and for the second layer of 2 seconds. Now let us start. We are already at the timeline editor of Matrix 5. If you don't know how to activate the timeline editor in Matrix 5, please have a look at the tutorial Create a Timeline. In our first task we want to trim the playback time to 40 seconds. Therefore, we select the timeline duration edit field and we type in the desired time. 0, 0. Forty. Zero, zero. And press enter. Now the playback duration was changed. In our second task, we want to create a crossfade of one second between Q1 and 2. Therefore, we can select the second Q. We will use the mouse to change the crossfade time to one second. If it is not Exact, we can modify it here in the fade in time, zero, zero, and accept it with enter. The fade in time of this queue is the fade out time of the queue before. As you can see, as soon as we select the first queue segment, you see the fade out time one second, and in the second queue, the fade in time one second. In the third task, we want to change the fade to a white fade and a fade in time of 1 second 15 frames. Therefore, we can select the second Q segment. Now we change the fade type to white fade for the fade out and then we want to change the time to 1 second and 15 frames and again we press enter. Now it is also set to a fade out time of 15 seconds which means it's the fade in time of 1 second 50 frames for the third Q segment. In our fourth task we want to modify the layer opacity of Q segment 2. Therefore we select the second Q segment. Now we perform a right click and in the context menu we select Edit Layer Opacity. Now first layer is already selected and we have to change the opacity by clicking inside of the Q segment to add new adjusting points. That's our first adjusting point. This one we want to move to zero seconds for this uh, Q segment and we move the opacity to zero. Then we can select a second Q segment. Therefore we click again at the blue line and this one we change the time to one second. And 20 frames accepted with enter and now we can change the layer opacity value to 255 with the help of the mouse 
and also with the help of the layer opacity edit field 255. And now I have moved the mouse to the left or right side, so I need to change the time back to 2. Zero, that means 20 frames. And now we accept it. And for the second layer, we have to change the opacity to zero at the start and 255 after two seconds. Therefore, we change the layer to layer number two. It's also a plasma layer. And here we go ahead again with clicking inside of the Q segment, a new point was created, we move it to the beginning and then move it down to layer opacity zero. And then we add a second point. The second point should be set to two seconds. So we can type in here a two and an S for two seconds, enter. And we give the value for the layer opacity again to 255. And now the layer opacity was changed. We are still in editing the layer opacity. To disable this edit, we can simply select the audio file and then the edit of the layer opacity is disabled. When we have again a look at the second Q segment, we can find two white lines. These two lines shows us the fade in time of layer opacities. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.